Hey students, this is Mr. Dowd. I just want to show you a quick demonstration of tracing an image using the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. Here we go. I have selected a Halloween image and I am going to paste it in the middle of my artboard here. Use the pointer tool to position the image where you want it. You can resize it, you can warp it if you want to. Get about where I want it. There. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to outline this scary Halloween bat. And I really don't care about anything but the outline of the image right now. So if it gets pixelated or anything like that, it's not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and um, change the opacity of this image because I want to see my pin lines go around this bat. So where it over on the right under the properties tab, I'm going to change the opacity from 100% to like 50%. There it is. Now, it is a, a gray image. I can still see it, but it is just a bat. Now, what I'm going to do is get the pen tool. You can see if I hold it, there's other selections, but I want the one on the top, the pen tool. And the pen tool is going to let me draw a vector line and put uh, that it contains anchor points. Anchor points are a mathematical reference for the line. In fact, all the parts of a vector image are made of math. So if I click, you'll notice this line is going to follow where the mouse goes. And it's only going to stop when I click again. And now that I've clicked, you can see there's a faint blue line here, and then I have another way to go. I'm going to control Z and undo that. And what I want to do is I want to make sure so that the line follows the curve of my drawing. So I'm going to click where I want it, but I'm holding the left mouse button down. And you can see now how that blue line is bending and how I've got this long lever that lets me bend and warp this line. Now what I'm going to do is just play with it till I get it just what I want. And now you can see it's filled in with a white color. I can always change that fill color. Now you'll notice the line down here is following this same kind of curve. Now, if I want to go and connect this wing, I don't want this to make a weird loop. So I'm going to use the enter key and the enter key breaks the line. And then if I go over that anchor point, and if you can see in this video, the uh, little pink letters with the word anchor pop up when I mouse over that point. That lets me know if I click again, I've just rejoined the line, but I've got the sharp corner here that I want. And now I can go to the next anchor point and I can manipulate the bend again until I've got what I want. And if I want a sharp corner again, hit enter, find that vector point and Oops, control Z, undo, find it, make it go next. There it is. Hey, does it have to be perfect? No, for two reasons. Number one, I'm really making my own bat. I don't care what the other bat looks like. Number two, because these lines are adjustable. I can always go back and fix them. Now, uh, you'll see a couple things uh, here. First off, I'll hit enter. Um, if I go back and use my selection tool, you can see this is selected as an object. I can go over here and say, no, it's a bat. I want my fill color to be black. You can do that. 
And then again, you'll notice, oh wait, this is here. Well, that's gonna change when I finish the image. It will fill everything that's on the inside. And if I begin to get uh, worried about being able to see, well, then I go and change the opacity. And I can make this 50%. I can also make my stroke show. And it can even be a thick stroke if I really want to see what's going on. All right, I'll go back to my pen tool and I'll go find my anchor. Here I go. So there you have it, using the pen tool to create your own scary Halloween image by using some underlying clip art. You may have noticed in that speeded up version of me using the um, object, transform, and reflect tool. That's the reflect tool to make a uh, copy and then do a flipped over or mirrored image of the object you did, like I did for the bat's eyes and feet. Good luck and make a, a spooky Halloween image.